Most drivers think engine oil is just engine oil. Same viscosity on the bottle, same protection in the engine, right? Wrong. In fact, using a US spec oil in an engine designed for Europe can quietly destroy your catalytic converter, weaken your turbo bearings, and even trigger catastrophic LSPI without you realizing it. And the scary part? Both oils can say 5W30 on the label and still be chemically opposite. Today, we're breaking down the real difference between American and European engine oils, why they're formulated for completely different engines, fuels, emission systems, and driving environments, and how putting the wrong one in your car can cost you an engine long before the oil change light ever comes on. Stick around, because what you're about to learn will change how you look at motor oil forever. Diesel Dominance in Europe Europe built its entire lubrication strategy around diesel. In 2015, right before Dieselgate, diesels made up 52% of all new European passenger vehicles, according to ASEA, while the U.S. never passed 3%. The reason was CO2. EU fleet-wide emissions targets in the 90s and 2000s pushed automakers toward high-compression, high-torque diesel engines that produce 15 to 20 percent less CO2 per kilometer as per International Council on Clean Transportation. But these engines also generate high soot, more acid formation, and hotter pistons, conditions that demanded stronger, more detergent-rich oil chemistry. That's why Europe developed ACEA A3B4 and the later C-series oils. These formulas had to survive long, hot motorway runs, resist shear, neutralize acids, and protect modern emissions equipment like DPFs. Because sulfated ash can destroy a DPF, European oils moved towards stricter mid-saps chemistry while maintaining high HTHS viscosity for durability. SAPs, short for sulfated ash, phosphorus, and sulfur, and these three elements determine how well an oil can protect metal surfaces, neutralize acids, and survive extreme heat, but they also decide how fast your catalytic converter or diesel particulate filter gets poisoned. That required heavier detergent packages, higher total base number for acid neutralization, and high HTHS performance for sustained motorway speeds. Across the Atlantic, the U.S. went the opposite direction. With over 95% of light-duty vehicles running on gasoline, American oil standards centered on catalytic converter protection, fuel economy, and combating LSPI, an issue common in turbo GDI engines. HTHS difference this is where viscosity differences become massive. European specs, ACEA A3B4, C3, VW502, BMW LL01, Porsche A40 require HTHS greater than 3.5 centipoises to prevent oil film collapse at extreme temperature. That's why 0W40 and 5W40 dominate Europe. They provide the thick, thermally stable protection needed for engines like BMW's N55 or Mercedes M276, which regularly exceed 110 degrees centigrade oil temperatures. Even a common 5W30 is not the same across continents. In Europe, ACEA C3 5W30 is high HTHS. In the US, most 5W30 is low HTHS for fuel economy. These viscosity philosophies shaped maintenance culture too. Europe embraced long drain intervals, 15 to 30,000 kilometers, supported by OEM oil quality sensors and the high price of oil. Long motorway trips and stricter manufacturer oversight make extended intervals practical. In the U.S., driving habits are harsher on oil, short trips, cold starts, idling, and high fuel dilution. Gasoline contamination thins the oil quickly, so Americans typically change oil every 4,000 to 6,000 miles. Oil is cheap, quick lube shops are everywhere, and manufacturers keep intervals relatively conservative to avoid warranty disputes under severe service conditions. Fuel Chemistry Fuel chemistry also directly determines how aggressively an oil must neutralize acids, resist oxidation, and handle combustion byproducts. One of the biggest factors is sulfur. Although both regions use ultra-low sulfur diesel today, Europe interacts with a broader global fuel supply.
The EU imports diesel from regions where sulfur levels can reach 1,000 to 5,000 ppm, according to data from the International Energy Agency. Even if these fuels aren't sold locally, they influence the way European oil companies formulate their products because engines traveling across borders, especially in Eastern and Southern Europe, may encounter inconsistent fuel quality. Higher sulfur fuel produces more sulfuric acid during combustion, which accelerates engine wear unless the oil has a strong buffering capacity. That's why many ACEA and OEM-approved European oils carry higher total base number, often around 10 to 12, compared to 6 to 8 typical in U.S. API SP oils. For example, a European formulation like Ravenol VMP 5W30, approved for VW504-507, maintains a TBN around 10, precisely because Volkswagen Group engines must withstand long drains in markets where fuel quality fluctuates. Meanwhile, an American formulation like Mobile One Advanced Fuel Economy 0W20 is optimized for predictable low-sulfur U.S. gasoline and does not require such a large acid neutralizing package. Biodiesel content creates another split. Germany, Europe's largest automotive market, mandates B7 diesel, meaning it contains up to 7% biodiesel by law. Biodiesel burns cleaner in terms of particulate matter, but it has a major downside. It oxidizes far more rapidly once it contaminates the engine oil. The German Federal Environment Agency reports that biodiesel-contaminated engine oil can oxidize up to 50% faster than oil exposed only to petroleum diesel. Oxidation thickens the oil, accelerates sludge formation, and attacks seals, so European oils must include stronger antioxidant packages to remain stable over long intervals. ACEA C3 oils, for example, use advanced phenolic and aminic antioxidants to slow down oxidative degradation. In contrast, most American passenger vehicles burn low biodiesel petroleum diesel or gasoline with negligible biodiesel contamination risk, so American oils do not face the same oxidative stress. Even gasoline itself isn't the same across continents. Europe's common pump grade is 95 research octane number, which is equivalent to roughly 91 anti-knock index under U.S. measurement. Higher octane allows engines to run higher compression or more aggressive ignition timing without knock. It also changes burn temperature and deposit formation. European gasoline engines, especially turbocharged models from Volkswagen, BMW, and Mercedes, produce higher combustion chamber temperatures, which impose greater thermal stress on the oil. This is one reason ACEA standards require oils to pass tough high-temperature deposit tests. Meanwhile, American market is dominated by 87 AKI regular gasoline, which is roughly 91 RON, and engines are calibrated for milder combustion loads. As a result, American formulations under API SP and ILSAC GF6 place more emphasis on preventing low-temperature LSPI in small turbo GDI engines rather than combating extreme high-temperature deposits. Oil formulation. European oils tend to start with a stronger foundation because ASEA and many OEM approvals demand exceptional thermal stability, shear resistance, and oxidation control. These oils often rely on Group 3 Plus base stocks, PAO, or even ester blends. Ester molecules, for example, have natural polarity that helps them cling to metal surfaces, a major advantage during long oil intervals or high load driving, and maintains viscosity up to 60% better at high temperatures compared to pure Group 3 oils. This is why high-performance European approvals, like Porsche A40 or BMW LL01, practically require premium base stock chemistry. American oils take a more balanced approach. Many mainstream oils, especially 0W20 and 5W20, are built on advanced Group 3 or GTL base oils because the priority is low volatility and fuel economy rather than extreme high temperature endurance. GTL gas to liquid base oils, used heavily by Pennzoil and Shell, offer exceptionally low NOAC volatility, which is critical for meeting U.S. fuel economy tests.
Premium American synthetics, such as Mobile One Extended Performance or Redline, do use PAO and ester blends, but U.S. regulations don't force this for the majority of gasoline cars. Instead, the base stocks are optimized for low viscosity, low evaporation loss, and stable performance during shorter oil change intervals. When you look past viscosity numbers and base stocks, the real heart of an oil lies in its additive package, often 15 to 25 percent of the entire bottle, and this is where the chemical philosophies of Europe and the United States separate more dramatically than almost anywhere else, because the additive system dictates wear protection, cleanliness, emissions compatibility, and how long the oil can actually survive inside an engine. European oils are built for endurance and harsher combustion environments. Long drain intervals, hot running turbo engines, and diesel soot demand stronger detergents and more robust anti-wear chemistry. That's why ACEA C3 oils routinely show TBN values in the 8.5 to 12 range, far above the 6 to 7 typical of ILSAC GF6 formulations. These elevated TBN reserves come from higher levels of calcium and magnesium detergents, which neutralize the nitric and sulfuric acids created during diesel combustion. But Europe's chemistry has an extra complication, SAPS limits. Diesel particulate filters are extremely sensitive to ash, so European oils are divided into high saps, mid saps, and low saps categories. A high saps A3B4 oil like Castrol Edge 0W40 is perfect for older BMW or Porsche engines that need strong film strength, but it would choke a modern Mercedes diesel with a DPF. That's why mid-saps C3 or low-saps C1 or C2 oils exist, to walk the fine line between durability and admission system survival. The same brand can produce two oils with identical viscosity, but completely different chemistry depending on the saps level. For example, Pennzoil Platinum EU Euro 5W40 contains more ZDDP, more ash, and a stronger detergent system for BMW LL01 and Mercedes 229.5 approval, while Pennzoil Platinum 5W30 sold in the U.S. uses low phosphorus, low ash, and a detergent package engineered to prevent LSPI instead of controlling diesel acids. U.S. oils must protect catalytic converters, prevent LSPI in turbo GDI engines, and meet strict fuel economy mandates. Phosphorus, the main anti-wear component in ZDDP, is capped at roughly 0.08% as phosphorus contamination can reduce catalytic converter efficiency by up to 45% over 150,000 miles. Lower phosphorus forces American oils to rely more on boron additives, ashless dispersants, and friction modifiers. Meanwhile, the LSPI issue pushes calcium levels downward. To compensate, U.S. oils lean heavily on molybdenum, commonly 200 to 350 ppm, to reduce friction and maintain wear protection even with lower ZDDP.